Hi Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is going to be your singles reading. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Um, yep, please do smash that like and subscribe button if you're new or if you haven't done it yet. It takes one second, just click and then let's go. Okay, everything you need to know, personal readings, joining my channel, everything is in the description box below this video. Um, yeah, so let's get going here. I hope everyone again had a fantastic weekend and are safe from any weather events or the major weather events that have been occurring. All right, so we're gonna do a Celtic cross. Whoa, we had a couple. Okay, so this definitely, I feel like Spirit wants to tell you what some overall messages here are. This is, so again, this is for singles. So if you are completely single, um, we're going to take a look at your energy, see if anyone's coming in for you in the month of October. Okay, so we have Taurus and Pisces energy, but Virgo, it looks like right now um, you are, I don't know if you've got some insecurities or some things like that that you're working through in your life at this time subconscious thoughts coming to the surface very like a, a little bit at a time you're not being flooded but there's some little bit of like oh that makes sense some tiny little aha moments happening in october for you okay your, your intuition is really starting to come out some of you maybe you have been really working on your intuition or or just kind of like being more in tune with yourself, understanding the difference between your intuition and your fears, okay? Um, honing in on how to access and work your intuition. I see you doing that um, more so in October, okay? So the moon, you know, illusions, dreams, paying attention to your dreams more, um, male or female with this King of Pentacles energy. So that King of Pentacles energy, very practical, you know, Virgo, high status, stability, um, entrepreneurship, being a good provider, bettering yourself in a lot of ways. This could be about business, you know, down to earth kind of energy. So that intuition, um, you know, Virgos generally have very good intuition. Actually, you'll find that um, many psychics and readers or people who listen to um, tarot readings or people who get involved in um, spiritual realms are generally of the Virgo zodiac because there is some type of underlying um, you're all about your senses, okay, and your senses and your intuition. I feel like for you, you're really beginning in October to bring this out, trusting yourself, trusting the process, trusting your gut about what's right for you. And for some, it could really just be about business and your everyday things, okay? So this feels like an overall energy. Just be careful. Um, they're saying that you don't get yourself in a position where you are misconstruing things in October, um, or you're not letting your insecurities get the best of you. Be careful of like understanding the difference between your intuition and your fear, okay? Because your intuition is like a full body experience where your fear is basically in your gut, okay? Your, you, that's where your body experiences your fears. Intuition is like you just know. It just feels like every your whole body is in sync when your intuition is on point about something. Okay, so let's take a look at the past energy for you, where you're coming from. Could be now, um, where you are now and going into October, but your past, your recent past. What position? Where you've come from? Okay. So, friendship. Okay. So the past position much support okay happiness um maybe you've just come from some type of a party over the weekend baby shower happy times socializing gathering okay so energetically with this cancer energy cancer represents home um there's a lot of support from who you call your soul tribe i see that they're you know and friends okay um, in the past so recent past right so there's it feels like in the past there was maybe you had a reunion with some people or a person um, 
it, it's good. It, there, there's nothing like, oh, this is draining and now I'm crossing over into something better. This is kind of like, this reading is more like a snapshot for your single life. You, some of you have been cultivating relationships and in the past you maybe, you could have been in a relationship before and maybe something ended and started focusing more on friends and people who care about you, more socializing, okay, in the past. Now let me take a look and see your situation currently. Okay, your situation currently. Okay, so getting in balance, trying to find balance. Um, some ups and downs in your life currently, but I feel like you're becoming more flexible. You've been juggling things pretty well. Um, balancing your books, working with your money, profits and loss. Um, and especially when it comes to relationships, it's kind of like, okay, what's, you know, I look at this card and I, I feel like you say to yourself, okay, what's going to work for me and what is not? As far as maybe putting yourself out there, um, in a in like the dating world for some of you who are seeking to meet someone i feel like you um you're doing well like your emotions i see some of you might not think that but it looks like you because there's ups and downs but if you look at these ships in the background on the water you see how it's like a roller coaster i mean you're it's like you're you're on the ship and you're steadying yourself right in this relationship world or a situationship um, or friendships, you're really like coming into balance. So, so this, where you are right now, you may like some days you may feel low, some days you may feel high, but just know that, that it's all the balancing act. All right, let me take a look. Now that's Capricorn energy. What is the block? What is blocking you? Oh, okay. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, well, I feel like some of you might be trying to tolerate a situation, <clears throat> be more diplomatic, again, balance. You're really working on weighing the pros and cons and weighing things out. Now, this could be a particular person. Um, as a particular person, there could be someone um, in the water element, male or female energy, that is um, a challenge for you, okay? It's like a block. Some of you might be trying to move yourself away from this particular kind of person or just find a way to balance things out with this person. This could be a friendship. This could be um, it, could, it, it could be in any realm. This person stands here significant, okay? This person comes across here as being family-oriented, generous, charming, romantic, devoted, mature and compassionate, calm, caring, friendly, sympathetic. Okay. <clears throat> as an energy, for some of you, it might be very difficult for you to embody that energy at this time or accept this person okay let me see but i feel like you know you're get you're, you're doing it you know you're for some of you if this is someone in your life i feel like you're trying to manage a relationship with this person okay for yourself i don't see this person as difficult because the king of cups in the upright is not generally someone who is difficult i will say um, there might be a tendency with this person, and this might be why you are trying to balance yourself. There might be emotional, uh, emotional immaturity with this person, um, someone who could just be overly emotional, and you are just trying to, like, okay, you know, taking things in stride with this person. They might have um, a lot of anxiety or be overwhelmed or that could be your energy. So it, it feels like the challenge is to get yourself in the upright or to see a situation with someone in um, a more positive light, okay? So I feel with the two of pentacles, this is kind of like a decision you're making, like weighing the pros and the cons is really what I feel like. Um, about someone here okay let me see what's what's the root of this problem what is the root of this problem 
for you? What is the root of this problem for Virgo? Okay, death. Something has ended or is ending. Okay, some type of spiritual transformation. This might be about trying to accept something, letting go, and, and starting over. Some endings, change, transition. Um, could be a sudden or unexpected upheaval and needing to release okay Virgo so this could be in relation to another person like I said you, you can determine whether this is a romantic relationship a friendship um, a, a dating situation uh, family uh, anything co-worker someone in the like a position it's a posi someone in position in your life that you're trying to work through here okay or make some kind of a decision because that's what that's what the twos are wait you're weighing the pros and the cons about some type of a relationship let me see give me and so we also have pisces again and we have scorpio energy so there's a lot of water showing up in this reading and then like i said you've got capricorn let me see. Give me a clarifying card for the root of this problem. Okay, yeah. Ace of Wands, trying to have a new beginning. Definitely, after something ending. Trying to get some good news. You're trying to hear the good news. Physically starting something new. Okay, this is this is the root of the problem, which is what you're... You might be trying to decide whether to let go of someone. Um, you know, friendship or... or find or you know a relationship of some sort and find or have a new beginning with another person or just in your life i'm also picking up like accepting a challenge for some of you the challenge might be having to let go having to uh, some of you might be deciding whether or not you want to walk away from something in your life to be done with something and start something new okay and that's the root of the problem that's what you're trying to balance here with the two of pentacles okay this could be a career this could be something you're emotionally attached to a project uh, some of you could be a pet um, some of you might have to you know you might be like currently thinking like maybe your pet is reaching old age or uh, thinking about getting a new pet it's just ending something and starting something new let me see what the possibilities are for you here Virgo what are the possibilities okay king of swords so hmm well this could be some of you're making a decision about ending a connection with someone and starting something new okay so you're single you might feel single or deciding whether something's going to work and um, I do feel like clarity and truth the possibility for truth I feel like there's a conversation you need to have okay <laughs> I do feel some of you are single and you have two options okay um, whether or not to choose one or the other you're making some kind of a decision that king of swords comes through is this Libran energy but it could be Aquarius and or Gemini okay huh give me a second here they're giving me the word clinical something clinical okay there could be something here also about um, your health as well maybe trying to choose between two doctors one who's very compassionate and has that good bedside manner um, or a health care facility and for others or not for others um, a good health care facility or uh, a doctor a person place or thing who lacks that but is very clinical and like a surgeon or someone who is is very like good at what they do they give it to you straight okay that's just a side message for some of you there's definitely i see you currently trying to make some kind of decision and ways you're weighing the pros and cons in your life so like i said you're single so this can encompass it's a general reading all areas of your life here um I'm also hearing a possibility of seeking a second opinion or seeking a second, a, a, a number two, a second option, okay? Let me see. Some of you might be deciding whether you should <clears throat> 
change a friendship with somebody, right? I know that's very odd um, in some way, but you might have a connection with some, some of you might be also trying to accept someone new into your life. Um, there might be, uh, I'm just hearing, they're saying like a fallout between two people, maybe brothers or sisters. Um, you might be trying to, some of you might be trying to mediate a, 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 a friendship or a situation with family members or friends that you're trying to like kind of solve some, uh, you know, diplomacy is what I hear. A mediation is what I'm hearing. Could be choosing uh, different lawyers as well. But this is your singles reading, like I said, and I know some of you are looking to see you know, if love is coming in, and I will check that, but I do feel like you have a situation going on here right now um, that involves two other people, and you're having a decision that you need to make, and it's really like, should you end something um, and have a, a new start? Okay, you're unsure. You're unsure. All right, let me see. What's headed your way? What's coming towards you? energy people places or things oh wow page of swords hmm it's interesting because this card is like don't get drawn into arguments wow okay <laughs> you might be in the middle of like some kind of thing going on with a couple other people or some other people um you know i feel like the energy that's coming towards you is you're going to need to be extremely patient but vigilant and guarded but fair um you're going to need to they're, they're telling you to think before you speak you're going to have possibly some kind of situation comes up in october maybe some some news or or delayed news that might cause you to be impatient um Some of you might be trying to figure out if someone's a player or not, or someone's like playing games with you or lying to you or being a deceptive friend or something along those lines. The Page of Swords is curiosity. It's trying to sort something out. And I feel like for you, um, there is, I'm hearing you need to wait. I'm hearing you're going to need to wait and just kind of like, to use a little bit more discernment because I just all right so they're giving me this message that you're trying to plan something you want to plan something you're trying to work something out and you're not going to have enough information you're going to have to weigh things so what I'm hearing overall is whatever the situation is it's going on in your life with some other people one or two other people um right now you're trying to balance and sort things out what's coming towards you is that you're going to need a little more information um they're saying wait don't get drawn into any arguments um just kind of take a step back right if you look at the page of swords here um this person is is stepped back they, they got their sword drawn and they're guarded they're protecting themselves but they're ready to um, slice and dice if the time comes, but they're pull they're pulling their energy a little bit back, kind of getting into this prepared state here, um, just in case I'm hearing, just in case there's a fight or something like that, but not in the middle of it. You're not getting in the middle of something. You're not making any major decisions yet. You're it, 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 you, they're saying wait. Why does Virgo need to wait? Why? Oh, okay. Ten of Pentacles. So you have Gemini and Virgo energy. I definitely see you protecting some type of financial situation or a marriage or a, a family business or a family thing. There's protecting a solid foundation, 
I'm not exactly sure what that means. Things are going to come together, but I fear that if you jump too soon going forward, or if you try to get more information too soon, there's like delayed news. There is news coming to you that you're going to find out about a situation, perhaps a work situation or a family thing. This news will come to you, but don't go seeking it. Things will uh, accumulate. You will get more information. I feel like uh, what's headed your way is you're going to have to take a step back and observe a little bit more, a little bit longer. Okay. They just gave me the three little pigs tail. And I feel like you're, you're the, maybe your uh, Chinese son is pig. I feel like you're um, the pig in the brick house and the big bad wolf is coming to blow the house down and, and you're like standing out there like, nope, my house is protected. No, nope, it's made of brick can't get in like there's a protective energy going on here you're protecting something that's what will be coming towards you standing standing outside the gate protecting what's solid in your life okay these messages feel like they're all over the place and i hope that you are able to pick something out that's resonating for you um because you've got two people showing up here in your reading maybe you're protecting um some type of maybe you're protecting your business or you're you're guarding yourself and for some of you there might be some type of interference it's just an energy of like don't get too involved in something keep your distance don't go looking for a fight virgo <clears throat> just stand guard and be prepared just stand guard of what's yours and what's solid and what's real don't get into any kind of third party don't get involved you know if you're going to try to mediate anything if, if you're asked great but don't offer don't jump in that's what I'm hearing don't jump in all you have to do is just protect what's yours okay it's interesting it's a very weird message here okay let me see um oh they're just giving me now there's also an energy of somebody who is, I just, they just said, peeking through the keyhole at you, not in a perverse way, but like there's somebody watching you from um, some type of your ancestors definitely are watching you, some type of family situation or business or marriage. Um, for some of you, you might be trying to connect with someone on a romantic level and they're you might not know if this person maybe you're talking to someone you might not know there's a possibility this person might be attached to another person and that other person is finding out about you that's a weird message i know this is not a relationship reading this is like single single and dating that kind of thing i i do feel like you're they're saying to watch out you might be somebody might be watching you or finding out something because there's a juggling virgo are you juggling a couple of people somebody's looking to see if you're juggling them <laughs> or juggling with others virgo what are you doing you may not be you might just be simply trying to make a decision if you want to date someone or connect with someone but there's somebody else here could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, looking to see if you are, you got somebody else, or you're interested, or you're dating somebody else, or there's other people coming into your life, or a possibility, okay, craziness, let me see, how are you viewing yourself in this situation right now, Virgo, how's Virgo viewing themselves, oh, wow, okay, Oh, you're being very judgmental, self-judgmental, self-critical. Um, and, and I definitely feel like with judgment here, you are doing a self-eval, you know, um, 
Some of you are homesick. Um, some of you might be... I feel like you, you're, you're really, like, you're coming into some kind of self-awareness here. You're really, like, renewing your spirit, awakening, awakening, awakening to things, um, putting blame where blame belongs, and also forgiving yourself for something here, or a person, like, like a, a situation. I do see, like, you're keeping your composure, but you're trying at this time to be a bit more transparent not just with others but with yourself being real opening up and being honest with yourself which is very good you know um you i feel like you're seeking clarity what are you seeking clarity about here okay yeah a choice again you've got two twos so this is a choice this is a decision you've got two paths in front of you here for some of you, it's like, it's not, should I stay or should I go? It might be more along the lines of like, what should I choose? Do I want strawberry or vanilla? <laughs> Do I want chocolate or, you know, two different flavors, two different situations? Okay. You're at a crossroads and, and getting real with yourself about what path you want to go what what choice you want to you want to make here and of course i will say this is this card does have on it deciding whether or not to stay or go for some of you that could be true whether to whether to stay in something and become single um there's a little bit of restlessness here but i do feel like you're detaching so you can kind of like open yourself up to try to understand what's going on what are your options what are you planning weighing the pros and cons Okay, so you're viewing yourself as someone who's capable of making a good decision for self, which is great. Okay, there is a possibility to connect with an air sign for some of you. Okay, going forward. Oh boy, let me see. What's external to you in your environment? Oh wow, marriage, <laughs> joy, happiness, family reunions homecoming somebody wants to connect with you have some kind of reunion with you uh, long-term relationship like that's what's external to you that's not far out of reach for you here okay wow page of wands you are going to get some news you're going to get some good news I, I was saying before you there was some delayed news don't go seeking it it will come and here it is going to come some news maybe a letter an email some phone calls there might be some communication for some of you that someone's interested in like a long-term connection with you maybe you haven't met them yet or it could be one of these people this might have something to do with the decision that you're trying to weigh the pros and the cons do you you know reunite back with someone from your past or from a long time ago that maybe it was like a friends with benefits that wasn't intentional but it went that way it didn't work out or that is somebody else showing up here the possibility with somebody else somebody new you know um there's definitely for some of you there's communication from a sagittarius coming in this person comes across very fun and playful optimistic there's a lot a good, there's a, there's a crush energy this this somebody that we like to call a lovable rogue they're lovable but they are like rebellious they have like kind of a, a rebellious energy okay but there's communication and this is like enthusiastic passionate so i do feel like some of you are going to get some kind of a reach out from somebody um now for others there could be somebody like I said, who reaches out to you to tell you that um, don't mess with their person, <laughs> which you may not know about. You might be trying to find that out. Some of you have a suspicion if you're talking to someone that they might have a, a, a third person in their life. Um, that person, that third person might find out about you and reach out to you and say, nope, nope, not on the market. And I kind of feel like you might be, some of you might not know, some of you might know. Um, a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama here in this singles reading, I'll have to say. There's also a child reaching out to you, um, your child. If you have children, if you don't, 
it's not for you. If you have children, there you have a child, um, whatever age they are, giving you some good news. You're going to receive some good news from a child, okay? Maybe something to do with some kind of physical activity or something that they're going to do or there uh, could be a child coming out of some kind of depression and beginning to feel better okay let's see I just want to get one more for this oh okay justice hmm, things are gonna be made right whatever is external to you um, person place or thing there is an energy of like you know things are gonna work out this is a favorable situation there's truth and honesty um, some karmic justice as well playing out here possibly for others there's a legal matter external to you where you're going to get good news about that um, you're going to get good news about some kind of a legal matter, matter that's going to be um, make you very happy about um, a, a family situation okay and um, let me see, October 11th, I feel there will be some kind of um, legal situation that will be finalized around October 11th, okay? For some, this could be a divorce um, that will make you single and now you start dating, okay? Let me see what other message there is here. Oh, also, if you're... you're trying to get into a career a legal career I feel like you're going to get an acceptance letter of some sort okay let me see what your hopes and fears are okay yeah so you're definitely hoping for like finally some rest some peace of mind things to work out okay there is a fear um, that you will be overstressed or feel overwhelmed um, but I feel like the antidote to that is a lot of sleep. Some of you might not be getting enough sleep. Okay, maybe you've been like um, toe in the line and, and taking up too much responsibility. Um, I feel like recuperating, regrouping, solitude, relaxation, rest is very, very crucial. Peace and quiet. You need sanctuary. You need to have like a sanctuary that you can go to. Um, in your mind or a physical place um, to I want to say uh, relieve yourself of stress if you're feeling overwhelmed you might have some mental overload um, so that feels more like um, a, a message to you because I do feel like you've got a lot on your plate here in your life whether this is decisions or weighing the pros and cons about dating or a, a career change or maybe traveling or moving or relocating um, also to do with your health as well all these areas of your life and for some whether or not to move forward with one person versus another okay um, or even trying to decide what type of what type of person you vibe better with okay you're, you're doing a lot of sorting I see you doing a lot of sorting in October, but I do feel like there will be some type of communication. Um, there is somebody who's gonna show up here with some truth, okay? Um, truth in regards to um, wanting something long-term. I don't know exactly who that is. That could be someone from long ago, past kind of thing, because there is, there is something to do with reunion. There was a reunion situation in the past, reunion in your present. Okay, does that mean you've got a past person coming back? For some of you, it could be. And that, that could be where this decision is, okay? And for others, this is like whether or not to just stay single or stay on your own, or whether to move forward with someone who you may find out has somebody else. Let me take a look at the where the energy is heading and the outcome, where all of this is heading to. Okay, so you have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Well, I feel like I 
I feel like there's going to be, it's like you, you're not making any decisions really on your own. This, this feels like the outcome is before you settle into making some kind of decision in your life, wherever it is in your life, like it's interesting because you started here with the three of cups and you're ending with the three of pentacles. Both of those cards represent support, represent teamwork, collaborating, um, gatherings. Okay. I feel like for you, your, the outcome energy is seek support from people who can help you with some kind of situation going on here because you like I said you have a lot of decisions decision making going on here in October you're gonna have pre presented you currently are or will be presented with some major decisions that you're gonna have to like you don't have enough information yet to get these decisions I do feel like you are gonna get a little bit of information about how to move forward but it's it's you know if you're just completely single and it's you know whether or not you want to date again or whether or not you want to um, just stay single um, the opportunity will come up for you to make that a decision and even a decision about one or two people and I feel like for you you're 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 gonna you're getting kind of like in this position where okay what is it that I really want and I feel like you you kind of have to some of you might already know but I feel like this is more for those of you who are not sure you may have to seek some type of like help from others or friends or people you're close to to kind of help give you an outside perspective right because it might be difficult for you to make a decision at this time or at least in October because you're biased towards an outcome okay you need objective uh, people who are objective who, who are not attached to this decision that can like give you their angle and their view to help you form um, a decision about what direction you want to go okay and I feel like that's where, yeah, because look, the Five of Cups, uh, Scorpio energy there. Some of you might be too much in some kind of um, maybe regret that you might make a wrong decision um, or you might welcome change that's not welcome, okay? Um, you might have, it, like I said, you're, tr you're definitely trying to get more emotionally balanced in your life like i said with the ships on that, those waves that roller coaster but i don't know i think you need to secure um other people to give you a well-rounded view of your situation help you try to like get some clarity on what direction you want to go here okay and a lot of that like i said had to do with the beginning of the reading right a little bit of information is coming to you you're, but it's not enough you know that moon is you know the moon doesn't light up the entire planet when it's showing when it's shining at night it lights up like the tops of the trees the tops of things there's a lot still that's in the dark okay and there's this like make sure you're not deceiving yourself right so I feel like the outcome here you know um, you may get an offer of some sort coming in as a single person there's definitely an offer that, that somebody, you know, coming in with like some truth and justice and, you know, integrity um, wants to do right by you or make things right. But you're kind of like, I don't know, I just feel like you're a fish flopping on the pier. You're just like, I got to get back in this water. I don't, like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm just trying to survive here. <laughs> You know, I don't know why so much confusion, Virgo. I don't, I, I'm not fully sure. I just know like you're coming in with this. Oh man, do I stay or do I go? What do I do? Okay. So haste, speed and travel in the reverse. So, okay. Wow. Direct, honest female. Okay. So a direct, honest female or male. You know what? This has a lot to do with this King of Swords up here. Male or female energy. There's something to do with a... There's a possibility with an air sign showing up. But I feel like... Um, 
This person, for some of you, has not shown up just yet, okay? But they will be significant going forward. And I feel like their significance in your life going forward has a lot to do with what your decision is going to be because things are changing in October, okay? Things are changing. Haste, speed, and travel. Delays, it's in the reverse. There's delays. Um, that's the eight of wands in the reverse, which means that there's delays of movement, okay? Um, I, I don't, I feel like the way this reading is going is kind of what the path that you think you're on or the path you thought in the past that you were on may not have been the path you were meant to be on and something or someone is showing up here that's going to pivot your goals or your decisions about which direction you want to go now okay someone's showing up here in truth authority a conversation you may have with someone who very moral and <clears throat> having a strong effect on <clears throat> you know the direction you're gonna you're gonna go the, th the direction you thought you were gonna go is actually now oh it's like oh wait a minute maybe not maybe not maybe that I'm not supposed to that kind of thing going on here wow interesting one of my cards are all in reverse no they're not okay future plans choosing a path in reverse see this is what I'm saying it's not time to decide yet you have to step back um October is an energy of like, hmm, maybe not. Hold up. I'm not making any decisions yet because now I'm not so sure. You might have been sure before, but now I don't know. Now I don't think you're so sure. I just want to get some uh, romance angels. Let's see what other messages. Yeah, so your overall message here <clears throat> is to wait and seek clarity within self. Um because you're not I just feel like it's wait it feels like wait you have the power for something here you might be presented with options or not op another option and I feel like you are not too sure okay so some of you give your relationship a chance you might have a past situation if you're single, that might reappear in your life that you might want to give the, a relationship a chance or someone shows up here, that might be part of your decision if you want to give something a chance here with either somebody new or someone old. Yeah, you've got like <laughs> a couple options here. Okay, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So just kind of feel like, take it easy, Virgo. Like don't overstress yourself. That's why you had the Four of Swords here, okay? Um, just get into playful energy. Listen, Virgo, if there's one thing I know that's true in life, things resolve themselves. Things always work out. They do. They may not work out the way you want them to, but they always work out the way you they need to. So during October, I feel like the overall message here for you is just chill. You don't have to make any decisions right um yet because you can't even if you get other perspective or other people you know giving you like a, a different angle um an objective view about a situation you might talk over with other people um you don't have to make this decision just yet and don't let yourself be pressured or forced to okay you have to at number one do what's best for you and i feel like october is like oh I'm not so sure now. Uh, I'm going to just hold off on this. Trust me, it will resolve. It will. Let me see what you're... Okay, you've got a love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I do feel like that energy is going to play out. Some of you might be, you know, in October or, or now connecting with someone and then somebody else shows up and or you get that love call and it's like, oh... Uh, some of you might be like, wow, I thought this person was completely gone and maybe passed away or, you know, if they did and you're getting that call, that's interesting. But um, yeah, look, coffin, 
<laughs> Some of you, it's a twin flame you could be getting a call from. Coffin, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Some of you walked away from a twin flame situation that was difficult, however long ago. Okay? You got palm trees, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Okay? Um, and it's kind of like, uh-oh. You were single on your own, doing your own thing. And you're getting a love call from, I feel like a twin flame. Okay? Um, that you just thought this was rest in peace, MF, or it was done. Now you're kind of like, uh-oh, what do I do? Like, you know you don't want to go back to a twin flame situation, but you're presented, okay, you're presented with something here that it's like you thought you didn't have to ever address again. And for others of you, you do have someone showing up here new who may be your true twin flame, not a false, a true twin flame where now there's confusion. But I hear you. I thought, I thought that other person was my twin flame. Now I'm confused. All right, let me take a look and see what your Chinese sign is. Let's take a look at the Chinese signs. This reading is like so long. I love it. Okay. You might be a rooster. You might be a horse. You might be a rat. You might be a tiger. A monkey. A snake. A pig. We have snake again. Rooster again. Rat again. <laughs> did I say rat? Yeah, I did. Dragon. Okay, this could be you. This could be the person you've been dealing with. This could be somebody new. It could be none of you. So don't sweat it. Take it as it resonates. Let me get your moonology message here. See what moonology message Virgo needs to know. Okay, the answers you need are coming. I mean, that could not be any more true, Virgo. The answers you need are coming. Okay, so don't stress out about things. It will come to fruition. You will, uh, things will resolve. Don't go seeking answers. Just, just let it sort itself out. If you, you know, you could talk to other people, try to get another perspective, but just let things sort themselves out at this time. Okay, that's full moon in Gemini. All right, so someone could have a, a moon in Gemini, um, or you could be connecting with someone who has a moon in Gemini, or could, you could be connecting with a Gemini. But Gemini is all about, like I was saying, truth. You could have somebody coming in here also who's giving you some absolute truth. And it might be like very awakening for you as well that will have an effect on your decision going forward. Okay, mm. Geminis are all about the logic. They're very rational and intelligent. They don't make emotional decisions, at least Geminis in the upright when they're vibrating at their highest level. They're very honest. They're cool. Okay, but they're moral. They're ethical, and and they can cut. They have a sword, so so you know the signs that have the swords are able to cut through the bullshit, and they'll cut through your bullshit or things that are like foggy or blurry to you. They come in with truth, and they're like, you might think that it's this, but it's not. This is what it is, and that's going to have a huge. It's going to play a huge role on a decision that you need to or will be making in October. And and like I said, right now. If you're not sure about something, just leave it be. Get in your playful energy. Leave things be. Just relax. Okay, I just want to get some. Let me see. Numbers, signs. Okay. Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius twice. All right, let's see. Aquarius, Capricorn again, Aries, Scorpio. All right. Now let's look at your numbers. Okay. We have five, uh, 3530. That could be a phone number. 3530. Okay. Somebody might be uh, 25. Somebody might be 42. 
Okay, somebody was born on September 13th. Okay. Hmm. You know what? You have the number one. This signifies beginnings, initiation, leadership, self, courage, and willpower. I feel like that's a very strong message for some of you. Um, you might be seeing the number one a lot, especially recently. Oh, we got it too. Okay, 1987. Significant year. Okay, we have 110, September 19th. Okay, and the 15th. Okay. They're giving me also a 109. Significant, um, 1982 and 1972. Okay, could be the year you're born, or at, at you you know the numbers. You 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 get the numbers. Like when I say them, you'll understand what they mean. Um, I'm also picking up the ages 51 and 53, and then 1981. Oh, and I'm also getting the age 52. Okay, these are just sticking. Wow. Okay, so we have a strawberry. I, I did say strawberry earlier, didn't I say strawberry vanilla? <laughs> okay, so you've got two hearts. Beautiful, there's a heart here with a rose. A heart with a rose, that might be significant to someone. And you also have, um, hmm, that's weird. They just gave me an image when I was looking at this. This is like um, an outline of a heart. It could be, um, some of you might see a neon heart outline somewhere if you do, or if you've recently seen that, that's definitely a message for you. This heart with a rose, some of you are gonna get like um, a heart-shaped box. It could be a candy box or something with a rose, or you'll see one. Maybe you have a tattoo of it, heart with a rose. Uh, somebody's name might be Rose, okay? Something to do with this strawberry though. Interesting, like it's like, very it's weird because it's shaped very strange it's very elongated i've never seen a strawberry like that but it's elongated um if you it's so it's very unique okay you might see um a straw i don't even know if strawberries are in season well at least where i'm at i don't think they are but this is going to be your message if you see a strawberry somewhere that's oddly shaped this is no ordinary strawberry, y'all. It's oddly shaped. If you see that somewhere, this is very much a message for you. And I'm not, it doesn't have to be elongated. It's just, it's like either it resembles, it's like one of those clouds. You see a cloud that's, that f forms a shape and it looks like something else. It's something like that. It's very odd. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that reading here. That was so much fun. I hope that gave you some clarity in regards to your single life or some decisions or things that you have to, you know, uh, sort out in October. I do feel like things will sort out. Okay. I think that if you're stressed, like I said, about trying to make a decision or weigh things, more clarity will come to you. Um, just wait for it to come because you can't make a full decision just yet. Um, let things play out. Okay, let things play out. All right, Virgo, that's going to be your message. I will, um, I did listen in the community section. I did post something about um, a meet and greet. Um, I'm just trying to get a heads up to see who would be even interested. I don't know where, I don't know when. I know definitely sometime after the holidays in 2023, we'll have to see how that goes. But if it seems like a lot of you are interested in that, so um, I'll give more details as time goes by. Um, I'm happy to hear that you guys would be interested in that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. So, you know, I'll keep you all posted and let you all know about that later. All right, you guys. So do go over there, though. And if you're interested in that, leave a comment. Let me know um, uh, if there's any interest at all. As far as, like, I know a lot of you are live in all different places in the world. And I know a lot of you won't be able to do that. doesn't mean it'll be the only one, but we'll see how things go. All right, you guys. Love you. Have a fantastic evening and day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.